and they kidnapped me on March 4th, 2018. On this small boat, it was, I don't know how many commandos, maybe 12, 15, and the two Emirati, like, lieutenant sergeants I was fighting. And uh, this guy came with a small uh, pouch, like a camouflage pouch, and uh, he took out the needle and he injected me in my arm, and I was, like, fighting. I was saying, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And uh, I just assumed it was tranquilizers, but it didn't take any effect on me. But then I was like, okay, assess your situation. Your hands are tied. You have two guys sitting on you. You're on the bottom of a, uh, you know, like a small boat. Um, so just calm down and like, there's just like there's no fighting at this point. So I just, I just calmed down. I said no, like I'm not gonna voluntarily go. He grabs me and he lifts me up and I'm like kicking and fighting and he's much bigger than me. So I see that his sleeve is rolled up and his arm is exposed. So I said, okay, you have one shot. So I just bite him as hard as I can and shake my head. And uh, he screamed. The same guy tranquilized me again. They put me on a stretcher, and as they were carrying me up the steps of the private jet is when I passed out, like I lost consciousness. All I remember was the rocking and seeing the stairs, and then I just passed out. When I woke up, the private jet had already landed in Dubai. And uh, I've been here ever since, so uh, more than a year now. I've been by myself, solitary confinement. Um, no access to medical help, um, no child, no charge, um, nothing.